coffee time and welcome to this week's video a little bit of uh, woodland photography today come down to the forest so we've got a mixture of uh, conifers and deciduous trees so i'm hoping to get a good mix of woodland birds uh, when i first got to the car park uh, just after dawn about half hour after dawn um, quite a bit of you could hear quite a bit of activity from the woodpeckers so I'm hoping throughout the day, hopefully be able to maybe catch some of that. Uh, the weather, well, as you can see, it's a little bit overcast now. And we have had little spells uh, of sunshine. And I think the forecast is really that. It's going to be a case of overcast, maybe some showers um, uh, with a, a little bit of a little bit of sunshine. So hopefully I can miss uh, the rain. But it's a lovely place. It's you know, pretty quite quiet, uh, and which is what I like, nice and peaceful. So it looks as if we're gonna have a good day. So let's see what comes. This mature woodland was alive with birdsong and the first birds I came across were these red pole. A colleague of mine, Mark, just recently posted a picture on the wildlife trust that we're members of and started a conversation off of, sort of the differences between lesser uh, and the common red pole. I couldn't say which uh, these are but they certainly are lovely looking birds with that splash of red on their heads. Finally came across the male drumming his beak against this hollow tree which marks its territory and serves to alert the females of his presence. And as he moved around the trunk I fully expected a female to come but to my delight there was a lesser spotted and I've frozen the film here so we can get a, a bit of a view of the two. It was obviously a popular spot because they both kept returning and it must resonate perfectly for them. I thought it would be useful for identification purposes to sort of split the screen, get the tree pretty much the same scale so you could see the difference in the size. The lesser spotted on the left of its diminutive size helps to distinguish it from the much larger cousin, which has a sort of red rump and lacks the white bars found on the wings of the lesser spotted. One thing I did notice was the slightly different pitch uh, the greater spotted, much more powerful and shorter. And the lesser spotted, as you can see, just slightly longer. Slightly less volume. I mean, once it left, it gave me a chance to film a few more birds, but I stayed around thinking that it might return. I was really pleased that he returned and spent about five minutes drumming. He appeared to be listening for any female who briefly would return his call. But sadly, it seemed as if all this drumming was to no avail. But once he pairs up, they're normally monogamous and they'll be together for approximately three years. very carefully, you can see how it just closes its eyes as it drums. Fortunately it's got a bit of a shock absorber at the base of its skull. It certainly would have an headache after all this drumming.
neither of the woodpeckers returned and gave me an opportunity to walk around the woods. Really peaceful place and just really enjoyed the solitude. Saw these chaffinches on the floor here, throwing the leaves around. So I opened up the Merlin app just to see if I could identify any other birds. And there were some brambling, but also a hawfinch. So I looked around, seeing whether I could pick out where it was. And high up in the tree, I found it. Unfortunately, it was in this oak tree and so difficult to get a view through. With the background being rather grey, just had to put up with this slightly obscured view. But at least I managed to get a bit of a reference shot. So hopefully I'm going to return to see if I can get a, a better view. It's been another wonderful day, really pleased. I hope you enjoyed the woodpeckers just as much as I did. That lesser woodpecker was just absolutely uh, amazing. Uh, and it's just a fabulous venue, relatively quiet, nice and peaceful again, which is really what you want. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a big thumbs up, like and subscribe. And as always, it'd be great for you to catch me in the next one.